everybody, what's up? Finally, NBA free agency is here. Can you feel it? We'll know if LeBron is staying or if he's going and where everybody else is going. Finally, more answers than just speculation. That's a good thing. You know who gave us a small glimpse into how free agency might go down this year? Tom Izzo. Tom Izzo was offered the Cleveland Cavs head coaching job and basically said to Cleveland, um, is LeBron going to be on the team next year? Is there any guarantee that you can give me that LBJ, that King James, is going to be playing for the Cavs next year? The Cavs said, we'd like to give you a guarantee, but no guarantee. We don't know what he's going to do. Tom Izzo basically said, hmm, this job that could be pretty appealing suddenly isn't as much appealing anymore. I think I'll stay at Michigan State. Thank you. That could be a very small part of what you see in free agency this year, specifically with LeBron. LeBron is not going to go to another team unless his situation is better. He's not going to leave the Cavs unless the situation he's going to trumps the Cavs' current situation, right? In order for that to happen, LeBron is going to need another max player to sign along with him. He's not going to go to the Bulls by himself. He's not going to go to the Nets or the Knicks by himself. He's going to need a Chris Bosh. He's going to need someone like that to make it happen. Maybe the exception would be Miami with Dwayne Wade already in place, although I don't see that happening. Anywhere else, LeBron is going to need someone else to sign along with him. Who signs first? Does this turn into a Tom Izzo situation where the Bulls want LeBron and say, hey, LeBron, sign here, and LeBron says, hey, I need Chris Bosh, and the Bulls are like, well, we're working on it. Uh, we can't give you any guarantees, but it looks pretty good. Is that going to be good enough for LeBron? Or is there a situation where LeBron and Chris Bosh have an agreement? They're both going to go to Chicago, we'll say for the sake of argument, just because those are the most rumors you've heard. Or Miami, whatever. Do they say, hey, we're both going there. All right, it's a done deal. Okay, cool, you sign first. <laughs> Does it turn into one of those situations? It's just very rare for a team to sign two huge players simultaneously. When you sign two max players at the same time, you're pulling off a feat right there. So this is something that could help out the Cavs. It's a small thing that could play a part in LeBron staying in Cleveland. I'm Brian Nell, and that's a no-brainer.